I've come down to Orium today to chat to Watsonians Rugby number nine, Rhys Cullen. Rhys tells me all about why he first got involved with the sport, what he loves about playing rugby, and why he's excited to be back playing at Myerside this season. Rhys, to start with, can you just tell us a little bit about how you got into playing rugby and your first memories of the sport? So I started back at, back at Bigger, back at high school. Um, so I moved to Bigger Primary in Primary 7 and then probably picked up then, so I was about 13 at the time, uh, and then played it all throughout high school at Bigger. Um, so we had a competition there every year, so just started at Bigger High School. And what was it about the sport that, that you liked and why did you decide to keep playing? Yeah, so I, I started off playing football originally, um, and I tried to do sort of, my mum had been doing loads of sports when I was younger, so it was mainly football and athletics. Picked up rugby, and then it, it just happened. Rugby and football started going on the same day, and um, I just started to excel at rugby at that age, and I picked rugby from then. Um, so I just enjoyed getting the ball in my hands, running about, enjoyed the sevens aspect of it. Um, so done all all, this, all the different forms of the game, and yeah, just enjoyed it more. So from playing rugby, football, and athletics, and then deciding to play rugby, can you tell us a little bit about your rugby career so far and, and where it's taken you? Yeah. Um, so started off at bigger. Um, so I had my first couple of men's game, men's games at Bigger, um, and then I, I signed at Watsonians, who at the time were in that one. So I played two seasons in that one here. Uh, we got promoted, so I played my last season at Watsonians, was in the, the top league, which was the premiership at the time. Um, from there I signed uh, at Bristol. So I went to Bristol for two years, so I had one year in the championship there, and we, we got promoted there, so I had one year in the premiership there. Um, and then from there I signed at Doncaster Knights, so I had another two seasons in the championship at Doncaster, which ju I've just finished up now, and now I'm here for this season. Three, four years down south, what um, what did you learn from playing down there that you can bring to Watsonians this season? I think, I think just just playing with different different people, different styles of players. Um, like, I mean, at, at Bristol and Doncaster, with players from all over the world that played at the top level, and, and just learning off different people um, in your position or, or, or not in your position, and, and things that they would do on the field and, and even off the field. Um, so just being in such a diverse, such a diverse place, I guess, and um, with all sorts of different people. And you've had a little bit of a pre-season here. What do you make of this current team, and how do you rate your chances going to the tournament this year? Yeah, it's, it's been good. Uh, I think I'm maybe like eight, eight weeks in now, so it's, it's been good. Uh, we've had had a hat out and then two games. Um, we spoke about it after after the game at the weekend against Harriets that we had like another 30 or 40 percent still to give, which is it's quite encouraging because I thought we played, I thought we went well, like we beat the, beat them and. And, um, and, they, and they seem like they'll be a good side this year as well. So I think based off last year's performance and then the recruitment of this year and, and how I've seen so far, like I fancy us for, for top, one of the top sides for sure. Mm -hmm. And in terms of your playing style, how would you describe your natural playing style? Being at different clubs again, sort of picked up other, other areas of the game, like just even like game, game awareness, like knowing when to, when to kick, when to play, that sort of thing. So kind of more of an all-round all round kind of player now. So in terms of your career, what do you think the next few years look like for you? Obviously, a lot of the Watsonians players last year went and made the step up to professional, yeah. playing professional for Edinburgh after playing the Super Six. Is that something that you aspire to do? Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm certainly not done in terms of being in a full-time environment. Like, I'd love to do, obviously do that again, and I'd, I'd look at any options that pop up. Um, the sevens has always been something that I've, I've had my eye on. So, if, if that come up, I'd, I'd love to give that a crack. That'd be my, my, my sort of top pick. And looking at the other teams in the competition this year, do you very much think after Watsonians finished after 10 games, they were, they were yeah. top um, last time out, do you think Watsonians are the team to beat this year? Yeah, yeah, I'd say, I'd say definitely one of. I mean, it's having having the only six teams in the league, it, it makes it very competitive. So I think any teams will be able to beat any any, any of the other teams on their day. But I'd say Watsonians, yeah, definitely. Definitely one of the one of the top sides. So next game up, Friday night under the lights against Stirling County at Myers side. What kind of challenge do you expect from them? I think, I think going, going from past experiences with, uh, with Stirling County, uh, we'll expect something physical from them, probably a forward oriented game and, and probably a lot of kicking. So I think they'll be a well drilled side because Ben Cairns will know what he's doing there. So it's, it'll be a tough game.